on graphic extras. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a stroke and slash gradient to a Photoshop shape. Now, I'm just going to go over here to Custom Shape Tool. That's the Custom Shape Tool. Select the Shape option. It's already got a fill here, but the key thing here is to actually go over here to the Stroke. You can actually give it no color, solid color, gradient, or pattern. I'm just going to select the gradient. Now, you've got some presets. These ones are from Graphic Extras, but of course you can use any other gradients. You can also modify the actual color of the gradient, so you just tweak that, add additional stops. Also, you can modify linear, radial, etc., just as with the gradient tool. And you can also modify the scale and angle, depending on the actual gradient type you choose. OK, I'm just going to apply the shape now. This one's from Graphic Extras. It's a rhombus design, but of course you could use any other shape. And I'm just going to now, once I've actually added that, you can see it's actually got that there. But of course, you can go over here again. And you can modify it. You can select one of those ones. You just click through. These are various presets, like say. You can also modify the width. One key thing here is the stroke options. Now, the stroke options allow you to align inside, in and outside, and outside, as well as modify the caps and corners. And I'm just going to make that rounded so you can actually see that rounded. Now there's other options as well, there's various properties, you can actually feather the design so you can blur design as well. Just drag that back again. Of course you can modify other things such as the width and you can just increase the width. Of course you can do that just by the standard tool over here as well. Right, so once you've, once you've done that, of course you can now duplicate the design and multiple other things, apply effects, etc. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest. Thank you much.